Hi guys, welcome back to Al of Asia. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at what is life like in the Philippines. So today's video is gonna be broken down into several different categories. The first category is the overall vibe. We're then gonna be speaking about the poverty. Next, we'll be covering the cost of living in the Philippines. Then we will be speaking about the English and other languages in the Philippines. And finally, we'll be talking about the people and the culture of the Philippines. So let's start with the overall vibe. Well, looking at the overall vibe, there's a few different categories we need to cover. One of the biggest concerns for many foreigners who are living in the Philippines is the safety. Most parts of the Philippines are very safe. However, just like every country, over the decades, there have been instances where crime has sadly prevailed in the short term. There are also some other public safety concerns for those who are looking to live in the Philippines, and these include natural disasters. And natural disasters can be very common in certain parts of the Philippines. An example example could be Davao City, which is located in the south of the Philippines, which has its fair share of earthquakes throughout the year. As we've mentioned on the previous video, certain parts of the Philippines and also certain industries are still growing and still developing. So there are lots of different opportunities for business and investment in the Philippines. Aside from the business and investment, the Philippines as a whole is a very, very welcoming country. You will most likely find a mixture of cultures in the Philippines. For example, historically speaking, there is a mixture of Spanish culture, but post-World War II, the Philippines was then heavily influenced by the American culture, and in the modern times, the youth of the Philippines are very much interested in Korean culture, and this expresses itself through fashion, through food, and through TV series. The next category is more serious as we look into the visible poverty in the Philippines. Manila is not the only place where you will see poverty, but it is one of the largest locations for the homeless community. The poverty in the Philippines is very heartbreaking. I was born in the United Kingdom, and if you've never been to the UK, in certain areas you may see homeless individuals. But in most cases, they are older adults, they have some food, some water, some items, that kind of thing. But in the Philippines, you may see children living on the street. On the positive side, there are charities and more support set up that is hoping to reduce the status of the homeless people in the Philippines. However, due to economical factors, it can be quite difficult to rehouse individuals as well as families long term. Many foreigners and locals living in the Philippines do in fact support and help the homeless community when they can. But nonetheless, if you're looking to live in the Philippines, it is important to remember that it may be something you witness and there may be people who come up to you and beg for money. The next area for conversation is the cost of living in the Philippines. To summarize, the cost of living in the Philippines can range anywhere from $800 a month to $1,500 per month. For those who enjoy the luxuries of life or have any health concerns, you may wish to budget on the higher end of that scale. But one of the charms of living in the Philippines as a foreigner is that the country is a highly diverse country in terms of living expenses. In other words, if you're looking for a lower cost of living in the the Philippines is 100% possible. The next category is the English level that is spoken throughout the country. So here's an interesting fact. A few years ago, I was reading through an article where I stumbled upon some information about the level of English spoken in the Philippines. And the statement read that there are more English speakers in the Philippines than there is in the original country of English, England. Of course, that may be because at the time there were more Filipinos than there were English citizens, but it's still a very interesting fact. English is not only appropriate in the Filipino educational system, it is essential. And this is one of the reasons why certain industries, such as the outsourcing centers, have boomed across the Philippines in recent years. So what about the people and the culture of the Philippines? Well, let's start with the people. The Filipino people are some of the most friendliest and joyful individuals you will ever meet living in Asia. As mentioned, high levels of spoken English will make communication much easier. The Philippines is also well known to be a very welcoming country to foreigners and expats which is why many foreigners have fallen in love with the Philippines. In every country, there are always good and bad people. And I say this as I know many people are like myself and they are realists and see good and bad in all situations. 
So it's always recommended when living in any new country to always be vigilant of your surroundings. Apart from the locals, there are also many other talking topics such as religion. A large part of the population in the Philippines identify themselves as Catholics, but there are also many other large communities in the Philippines such as Christians and Muslims. As a whole, foreigners find the Philippines to be very respectful in terms of different beliefs. So what is the overall life like in the Philippines as a foreigner? Life in the Philippines can be a very eye-opening experience in many ways. Many foreigners who have traveled around Southeast Asia have decided to live in the Philippines long term. The tourist board, pre-COVID of course, show that more travelers were entering the Philippines than in previous years. And some experts do believe that once COVID is more manageable, these numbers will soon return. One thing you will feel very early on in the Philippines is the amount of respect that Filipinos have for you as a foreigner. Filipinos also have a massive amount of respect for family. Family is perhaps one of the biggest and most important things in the Filipino community. A very good piece of advice for anyone who is looking to live in Asia is to take a small break and visit any country that you may be interested in because you'll find very quickly that one country will appeal to you more than the others. There are some countries you can visit and the country almost feels like home. It feels like you're meant to be there. And if you get that feeling, it's very easy to live in the Philippines or any other country that you choose.